What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to put text and titles and all types of other text and stuff that you're going to want to put in your videos in DaVinci Resolve. And it's real simple. It's going to be a short video. So be sure to stick around to the end so you catch everything you need to know. And let's get right into it. First thing, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on them post notifications if this helps you out. Smash that like button. We just broke 10,000 subscribers, so we're real excited about that. And we're going to be doing a lot more videos coming soon with the channel growing. So be sure to check back with us and see what other types of videos we're going to be doing. I'm going to be making a lot more, a lot more consistent, so check those out. But for this video, what we're going to want to do, I'm going to show you how to get your text into your edits in DaVinci Resolve. So right now I'm in the edit tab. Some people like to do in the cut tab. I usually do the edit tab. I don't even mess with media or cut. I just go right to edit. And what you're going to want to look for is at the top. Usually you're by default you're selected on the media pool. But what you want to do is click on effects library. And in here you'll see on the left hand side it says toolbox. You can click on toolbox, the arrow down and drop down. And you're going to want to come to titles. When you click on titles, it's got all types of different things you can choose. These are fusion titles, so these are actually like pre-made. But these are your regular old text and titles right here. So the plain text, just if you want to text and be able to change all the font and everything without it being like a preset. What you want to do is just come hover over the text right here. Click and hold. All you got to do is just drag it right to your timeline, put it wherever you're going to want it, okay? Once you got it there, you can come on the side of it and make it longer or shorter, however long you want it to be. And then what you want to do is make sure you put your timeline marker over the text so you can see what you're changing. And then once you got it selected, you could click on it and come over to the top right in the inspector tab you click on it and it should pop up right here and you see how it has the title right here you this is where you click on it you can delete this and put whatever you want let's just put this thanks for 10k subs because we just broke that 10k all your uh properties for your text are going to be in this inspector tab so you can change the font right here Let's just come and pick, uh, let's go adventure. It says, thanks for 10K subs. We can change the font face to bold. Um, also your color right here. Let's just change this to yellow. Actually, let's go red. And you can change the size of it. You can also hover over the number and just hold down the button and move to the right or to the left. That's what I like to do. And then you got it to the size you want. If you want to reset it to what it was set at originally, this button right here, you just click it. And this is the same for any of these. So if we want to get rid of that font, you know, click redo, click normal. And you can just undo everything you just did. So let's just go back and click a different font. Let's do old English. Let's turn up the size. Um, tracking is just basically it spreads it out or tightens it if you want. So I got it like this. If I want to redo it, it just goes back to the original. Line spacing just brings it up and down. I wouldn't mess with line spacing though. You also got font styles down here. You got font case. You can do all caps, all lowercase, whatever you want to do. Um, the alignment. What I usually do is I pick this one here. It just centers everything. Um, that might not work for you. It works good for me. Then here's your position. So this is where you would change how far it is to the side or how far you want it up and down. And this is just where you position it on the screen. Now, you got to remember when you hover, you got to hover over the number. And then when you see these two arrows, okay, pointing each way. Then you click and hold, and then you just move your mouse to the right or to the left. 
and then it moves it for you. Same with all these windows with a number in it. The zoom you can do, you just move it right to the left, zoom it, shrink it, whatever you want to do. Same with the rotation, we can rotate it. Let's bring it down a little bit. We rotated it. Um, drop shadow. Now this is different than the actual background because you can have a, like a background behind your text. So a lot of people can read it better if you do that. But a drop shadow is a little different. Now let's do this a green color just so you can see. All right, so you come here. You click on offset and you can drag it to the right. You see, it's just basically like a drop shadow of the actual text. And let's just reset that. And then come back here. You can bring it up or down, too, if you want the drop shadow this way or this way. Um, you can do it a little of both. So it's like that. You can do all types of things. Um, you can also fix the opacity, which means how see-through it is or not. And then you also got stroke right here, which is basically like... A little outline of your text. You can turn that up. You know, we got black. You can change the color also. I'm going to reset that. Now, here is where you got your background. And I love doing this because it it makes your text pop. Um, you don't always have to use this, but I like using it. So, let's just change the color so you can actually see it better. Do yellow. Um, you can also change the outline color. Well, you're just going to come here to width and height I always like to do the height first see how tall I want it and then we change the width so we can make it a little longer a little shorter whatever now this thing is pretty cool here the corner radius you can turn it however you want you can have it rounded you can have it pointed um, like an oval whatever you want to do you just play around with that Let's just leave it like this for now. It's looking pretty good. And then also you can center it, move it up and down right here. And last but not least, change the opacity. Just bring it to 50. And those are all the settings for your text, guys. So if you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments below. Um, also, let's go and show you a couple of Fusion titles. So let's do... Just pick this one here. Same thing. Click and hold, drag it, and drop it. And it might be a little loud uh, from playing the video, but I'm just going to play it. And you're going to see on the bottom right of the screen of the preview window, let's just make this a little bigger. You're going to see the title come right here on the bottom. So let's just click play and watch it. I go through and look for all my MKV files. I can add them all and convert them because okay you see how it just slid in slid out and same thing you just click on it make sure your timeline scrubber is over it if it doesn't want to go over it just bring it a little bigger on the timeline and you should be able to go through and look and then once you're like over the text you got want to make sure so you can see it then you come back to the inspector tab and this is a little different because it's fusion you want to click on main text controls and this is all types of stuff it's the same basic principle is the other way i showed you but this is a lot more into the color and all you know the the hue saturation and all that so if that confuses you you don't have to mess with any of this you can come up here and just change whatever text you want Okay, so we got subscribe to the channel. And same thing with the font and stuff. You can change all that around. I don't know what that font is, but let's just pick a regular one. Okay, we got that one. It's looking pretty good. I'm not going to mess with all this stuff, guys. I just want to show you what the Fusion titles were. And they got a lot of them here. So you can just click on them, drag them, drop them, and just play around and see how you like it. And if you want to get rid of it, you just click on it, right click, click cut. But I think that about does it for showing you guys how to get your titles and text into DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below.
and check out all the other DaVinci Resolve tutorials that I'm going to be coming out with. Uh, I'm going to have a whole playlist. Um, I'll probably put it in a cue card. You can click on it and check them all out. My goal is to make at least 10 to 15 videos on DaVinci Resolve specifically. Um, I got some shortcut ones, but I like DaVinci Resolve a lot better. So I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials on this. Be checking back on the channel. Also, check out the links in the description for all types of tech gear and stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.